Today, I'm going to show you how to use the lossless scaling tool to properly boost FPS in any game and stabilize its smoothness. Without further ado, let's dive into the video. I've chosen Cyberpunk 2077 as the example for this tutorial. I've already demonstrated the lossless scaling tool in previous videos featuring Cyberpunk. However, for this method, you'll need the latest version of the lossless scaling tool version 3.1. I've tested this approach using the adaptive mode feature in version 3.1. First, open the lossless scaling tool and adjust the settings as follows. But before proceeding, it's essential to find the stable base frame rate of Cyberpunk 2077 or any game you're playing. Think of it like this. If you optimize the graphics settings of your game and achieve a base frame rate of 30 FPS or higher, let's say 37, 40, or even 50 FPS you're likely to have a smooth gaming experience. Keep in mind that if you're using a 60 Hz refresh rate monitor, the maximum visible FPS is capped at 60, regardless of how many FPS you achieve. However, for those with monitors supporting 144 Hz or higher, this tool offers significant benefits. Next, I'll change the upscale mode settings and lossless scaling as follows. Remember, if your game already uses its own upscale feature, there's no need to enable upscaling in the lossless scaling tool. Personally, I prefer using the lossless scaling tool's upscale feature. Now, onto the gameplay benchmarks. Let's test the tool in action with some gameplay, so you can see how it performs. My PC has some bottleneck issues. In demanding areas, I experience frame drops, lag, ghosting, and latency issues. However, don't worry too much about this, as these issues are less likely to occur on most systems. Before activating lossless scaling, my base frame rate range between 30 and 39. To stabilize it, I used the RDSS tool to limit the FPS to 37. Next, I examined the game's graphics settings, where all settings were set to high, except for crowd density. After activating lossless scaling, noticeable ghosting and latency issues became apparent in the gameplay whenever the FPS dropped. This gameplay will demonstrate the base frame rate required to avoid these issues, providing all the insights you need. From the benchmarks, you may notice significant FPS drops and ghosting in demanding areas. This is why it's crucial to determine your base frame rate before using this tool. For example, if your base frame rate is only 18 or 20 FPS, you'll likely face ghosting and latency issues that make the game unplayable. Based on my testing, you need a base frame rate of at least 30 FPS to effectively use adaptive mode. So, by now, you must have understood what I've been explaining throughout this tutorial. To achieve a ghosting-free and low-latency gaming experience using the adaptive or fixed mode of the lossless scaling tool while boosting FPS, it's crucial to stabilize the base frame rate at 35 FPS or higher. I hope my explanations have been clear to you. So friends, give this method a try. If you encounter any problems, feel free to leave a comment 
and I'll help you find a solution. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please like and share it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, take care and have a great day.